Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT surgeon working for the NHS in central London. And today I want to tell you about this device here, which the doctors in the crowd will know is a monopolar suction diathermy. And what this does is it helps us remove adenoids. In, in the old days when we removed adenoids, we used to get this uh, called a, um, it's a Claire Thompson curette. And you just basically scoop this um, adenoid out and then pack the area up and hope that it stops bleeding in a few minutes. Now, uh, Great Ormond Street many years ago brought this, uh, probably not this device, but a similar device out. And the way it works is that at the end here, there's a little hole here and there's suction attached to this. And that suction goes all the way through this tube here. And you can see there's a, well, you probably won't be seeing, but there's a hole at the end there. And so stuff gets sucked through there. That's excellent. And at the end here, you'll see there's a little bit of an electrode. If you look at the last video where I tried really hard to show an adenoidectomy, you'll see that actually I have to do this upside down. So you're looking in your mouth behind the palate, the dangly thing at the back of your throat. You're looking behind there and operating upside down with the help of a mirror. So you're operating through the mirror like this. It is quite difficult and you get used to it because all the actions are back to front. But this straight thing won't get to the back of your nose through your mouth and then back up that way. So what you need to do is bend this. As I said, this is electro, so there's a bit of metal going down the middle here. And so if you bent metal like this, it'll just collapse on itself. So you won't get any of the suction coming up here. So you put this plastic rod in here so you can bend it without it um, flattening out. So now you can bend it like this, and then actually you end up bending it in two different places so you can get round the corner. So you're just operating like this. Now, when, when you're in the right place, you can... So you've got the right angle. You've got this angle now. People use different angles, but you get in there and you press this button here, which turns on the power. So at this point, energy has been spat out at this point here, whilst also a vacuum is sucking out all the tissue. And there's also a little port here, which is just an air hole. Uh, if you let go of this, it doesn't suction so much. You, you don't end up pulling something out by accident. So you end up putting your thumb or your, uh, your finger on both of these at the same time. So you get suction. And a lot of people mistakenly press this onto the adenoid and slowly sort of cauterize it. But this is not a cauterization technique. It's not like um, you might have seen some of my other videos where I cauterize or ablate some of the tissues. In this, you're just ever so slightly hovering above the tissue the, the electrode is passing energy at such a high rate that what it's doing is it's um, vaporizing the tissue directly underneath it. And as it's being vaporized, the suction suction is, uh, suctions it out. And you can't stay in one place too long because then what happens is the tissue gets charred and goes black. It's very hard for you to get rid of black charred tissue from the back of your, uh, the back of your nose. So the idea is to uh, flit backwards and forwards like this over the adenoid and slowly shrink it down layer by layer so it flattens out. If you look at that video, you, you, hopefully you'll understand. It is it is really hard to explain in a video when you're looking upside down and you, you don't really know what's going on. And I'm sorry that the video doesn't make much sense. But hopefully you can understand that by pressing this, vaporizing the tissue through that little gap over here, and then that vaporized tissue gets sucked up here and you slowly go down and down and down until this, this goes flat like that. Hopefully that will make sense. I might even draw some pictures and that may aid understanding. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because I found this when I was packing up my house and I thought, oh, I better just um, show people how it works. Anyway, take care. I hope you found that useful. Bye-bye.